Okay, common mistake people in a fire situation. People often get all of those handles in a bit of a death grip, and they find they can't get the, the pin out. In theory, you should be able to just put your, your finger into that, pull it, and snap that tag off. Those tags are just put on by the extinguisher maintenance companies, and some of them are tougher than others. So if you're just steadying the extinguisher with the lower part of the handle there, you should be able to pull that quite easily. But if it's difficult, nothing to stop you grabbing hold of the tag, pulling that first, and then it should snap off. The third way is if you twist that pin and keep twisting, then eventually you're going to put enough pressure on the tag, snaps off quite easy, and the pin comes out no problem at all. Okay, see on the cylinder there, it does have a class A rating as well as the class F because it's 50% water inside. So you could in theory use it on something like a waste paper bin fire, industrial uh, kitchens, chippies, we tend to put these in instead. Because you're dealing with a 300 degree fire, you're very helpful, you can be a nice long hose, so you don't need to be uh, too cl close to the fire itself. And although it's 50% water, when you spray the liquid out, it, there's a chemical reaction, it starts to thicken up um, from the oil, it forms like a soap on the surface, and a fire blanket, got those hanging up on the wall, tapes hanging down underneath, grab all the loads, give that a good sharp pull, get a nice big sheet of material coming out, usually something like a, a woven fiberglass or uh, something else that won't burn, it's now actually over the flames, but I'm not going to get my hands burned because they're wrapped in the blanket, throw that over, that's it. The other thing you can use a fire blanket for, if someone's clothing is on fire, you can wrap a blanket around them and snuff the flames out. Now the best thing to do there, see a guy who's a blaze, knock him onto the, the ground first. Looks a bit cruel, poor guy's on fire and they'll be decking him as well, but if you leave him stood up, the flames will go up towards his face, which is exposed. Knock him onto the ground, flames go up away from his body and he's less likely to get his face burned. 